first I'll just say you don't just go to meet Bill Gates. You can't just walk in his office and say, hey, Bill, how's it going, all right? Uh, going to him takes about a month of preparation, all right, uh, to have an hour-long meeting. Now, finally, the day comes. We go to his office building. He's got like a little secret elevator. You have to go around back. We go to the top floor, this gigantic office overlooking uh, Lake Washington. Biggest office I've ever seen. And there's Bill sitting at his desk, and he's playing solitaire, which uh, <laughs> it's a little bit stereotypical, but, you know, whatever. Uh, and I, we sit down. Presentation starts. Now, Bill Gates is in the room. My boss is in the room. Satya Nadella, who's the current CEO uh, of the company, is in the room. There's the leaders of multiple billion-dollar businesses in the room with me. And we all are just absolutely terrified because we have to present to Bill. Now, eventually my turn comes. I launch into my presentation. I got 30 minutes uh, to talk. And I observed uh, three things, all right? First, uh, Bill, he looks like a really nice guy, uh, but he curses like a sailor. Uh, but the thing is, he always attacked ideas. He never talk, attacked the people in the room, all right? I thought that was really important. And then second, even the smallest words that he said carried immense weight. You know, the PMs in the room, the VPs took little notes about every little facial expression that he made and then brought it back to the teams. So I thought to myself, you know, when you're a leader, how do people interpret you? Even your smallest actions carry weight. How do people interpret what I say when I'm leading my teams? And then the final thing, uh, and probably the most important thing I took away from this, is that I was giving a presentation on a, a pretty obscure topic. It was natural language interfaces to in-memory database systems. All right, so I'm, in, I'm presenting to Bill for 30 minutes about that. He's asking me questions, Bill Gates, asking me questions about a piece of technology. And it occurred to me at that moment that even the most brilliant leaders are only as good as the people that they can get to follow them, all right? That for that moment, I was the smartest person in a room full of billionaire executives. That felt pretty good. And I think it's an important lesson for you guys as leaders, all right? Who can you get to follow you and how will you take care of them? That's what I took away from it.